Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So it's been a while since I posted. Just been, you know, it's been a little, been a little busy lately. But um, I'm back, and I know everybody has been talking about this, but I just wanted to put my own little two cents in. So, you know. But anyway, so a lot has been going on between these two. You know, divorce on the horizon. Um, apparently, like I said, I'm allegedly, I can't say for sure, but allegedly. The main reason why it hasn't been finalized is because Kanye refuses to sign the divorce papers. But that has not stopped either of them from seeing other people. As everybody knows, uh, Kim has been seeing Pete Davidson on the side. And apparently she seems pretty happy with him. And Kanye has been dating, um, I believe her name is Julia Fox, the young lady. Um, Everybody's saying to try and get back at you know Kim to make her jealous. I'm just like... I don't understand what she would be jealous of, you know, like if she's trying to get away from him, she's trying to get a divorce from him because she can't stand being with him anymore. So why would seeing him with somebody else, especially when she's with somebody who she seems like she's having a good time with, make her jealous enough to go back to him? Now, I've been seeing the posts. I've been seeing the YouTube videos. I've been seeing the Instagram stories, whatever you want to call it. You know, people saying, oh, whoa, whoa, is Kim Kardashian. She didn't know any better. And how could y'all say, you know, that y'all don't care and this, this and that. And, you know, so let me break this down like simple math for those who don't understand. In case you didn't know, most celebrities in the industry, they only get married. They don't get married for things like love or whatever. They get married for business reasons. So they make it like a business arrangement or for, you know, carnal reasons because this person can help them get more notoriety this person can help them become richer etc so that's usually why most of their relationships don't usually last that long or they don't stay married if they do get married because they only get into these relationships for like i said carnal and you know lustful reasons the same goes for these two Okay, we all know, like, let's not, let's be mature. Let's not act like we don't know. We all know how um, Kanye feels about, well, let's just be honest about black people, especially black women. Like, let's let's not act stupid, okay? We know how he feels about black women. He doesn't like black women. He's never liked black women. You know, he made that very clear from day one. All the songs that he was talking about, how whenever he finally got into a relationship, it was going to be with a white woman. Like, we've known this. We've known this for years about him, okay? So, for anybody to just pop up and be like, oh my God, how could you do this, Kanye? Like, it's like, I guess maybe you just haven't been paying attention. I don't know. But anyways, we've known this for years, okay? So, him marrying Kim Kardashian wasn't a shock to us. Now, there were people who told him not to, and he didn't listen. Like, everybody. Well, I wouldn't say everybody, but there was a lot of people saying, like, I don't think you should marry her. And he did anyways, because he wanted to. Because she was who he wanted, not like genuinely like, oh, girl, I love you so much. I want to be with you. No, she was his preference. He wanted to be with her because she's white. Point blank, period. That's how it is. And Kim Kardashian wanted to marry him, not because she loved him. She wasn't head over heels for him, not because she liked black people, especially because she liked black men, because she does not. She married him because she knew that she could become more famous being with him. Being linked to him has made her more famous. That's just how it is. You know, you can you can argue if you want to. I mean, you're going to be arguing with yourself whether or not she was famous before she, you know, got married to him. And she was, but not nearly as much as she is now, you know. So like I said, you you can debate about it if you want to, but you'll be debating yourself, okay? There's no question about it. That's just the truth. So both of them got what they wanted. And she wanted mixed babies, so both of them got what they wanted out of the relationship. That's what they got married for. Now, of course, I know she knew that he had issues before she married him. That Kanye is, you know, he's narcissistic. You know, he's got problems. You know, he, he has, you know, and this is not, you know, in a joking manner. He has mental issues. Like, everybody has known this. She knew this before she married him. So to say that she didn't know, that's a lie. And quite frankly, it's a slap in the face to people who genuinely did not know what they were getting into. Like, all these people who keep saying, oh, how could you say, like, that this is what they get because they knew what they were getting into. Both of them did know what they were getting into. And it's a slap in the face to people who genuinely did not know, like, whenever they were marrying somebody, what kind of person they were because they did a good job hiding it. And then did a 180 the moment they got married. And they were like, oh, my God. You know, that's a, sl it's a slap in the face to people who generally did not know who they were getting involved with until it was too late. These two people knew exactly who they were getting involved with. 
whenever they got married. She knew he had problems and he knew that she was only with him because he was Kanye West. Both of them knew this. Now, you know, the whole thing going on with him, you know, crying all over the internet, talking about him wanting to see his kids and her keeping him from seeing his kids. Again, like sometimes you got to bite the bullet and accept accountability for the poor choices that you made. That's on him because, again, there were people who told him not to marry her. And then let's let's just be honest. They've always been exploiting those kids like they've had kid their children all over the Internet since they since they were really born. You know, there are plenty of people, parents out here who are public figures who do not allow their kids to have social media accounts until maybe they're in their like preteens or teens. They have been having those kids on social media since they were babies. So they've been, you know, you know, putting them out there when they should not have been before. And the whole, like I said, thing about him crying about like, you know, every time he tries to go over there to see them, she's like, you know, having people watch him or follow him through the house and, you know, having security on him and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, well, first of all, you know, as you know, a woman, I can understand why she would feel unsafe with him around those kids with the way he's been acting lately. And like the whole world is a witness because it's all over social media. You know, like if he's been acting, you know, a certain kind of way. Why wouldn't she feel cautious? And then, too, it could be that. And it's like, or or is it that or is it that she's just treating him like the you know what that she's always wanted to treat him as but has no obligation to not do so now that they're getting a divorce? Like she's probably always felt this way about him, but just didn't do anything like this before because they were married and she still needed what she wanted to get from him. So, again, that's on him because he chose to be with her. You know, and I'm not saying, again, I'm not trying to lack compassion and say people deserve what they get for, you know, for, you know, who they get with. I'm saying if you knew somebody had problems or if you knew somebody was not good for you and people try to warn you, these are the consequences of your actions. I won't say that both of them deserve this because that would be, you know, harsh to say. Although I am saying these are the consequences of his actions and he needs to own up to it and accept it. And he just needs to he just needs to do better from here, you know, but I feel like that's too much like right anyways. Now, he's been involved with this young lady um, named Julia Fox. And, you know, I don't even remember what it is that she, you know, what she does for a living, honestly. But, you know, people were saying that she was um, he was only with her to make Kim Kardashian jealous. Like I said, why would she be that? Like if she's trying to get away from him, like, you know, um, and she's already got everything that she needed from from the relationship with him. You know what I'm saying? She's probably, you know, sick of being, you know, with him by now. But anyways. And then to make things even worse, it's sort of like I feel like, you know, bad decision after bad decision is being made in this in this situation because. You know, like I said, maybe he was only trying to get with her, like like everybody was saying, to make her jealous. Of course, it didn't work. And this woman literally blatantly, like, got on a podcast and was bragging about how, you know, she was happy that she could be with, you know, him. That she was only, like, she wasn't dating him. She didn't love him. She was just with him, you know, because he wanted somebody to be with, somebody that was white and good looking to be with in the middle of all this and that her being with him just her being with him for the 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 short amount of time that she was with him has helped her position and again fame just in that short amount of time and she was saying that she basically she basically got a come up just off of that you know short fling that she had with him and I was like wow um but you know hey that's how they like I said this is how they do it you know, in the industry and people wanted, rather, you know, they were so shocked, you know, and I'm just like, I don't understand why, but this is how they do it. This is what they do. And for the life of me, I still don't understand why, um, people still promote this kind of stuff, but that's a, that's a different, you know, that's a different, a different, you know, a different topic for another video, maybe, but like I said, this was just like ridiculous to me, to be honest, but I didn't expect, like I said, you can't expect anything, anything different. This whole situation was just, but anyways, 
So as I said before, Kim Kardashian has been seeing Pete Davidson, you know, and I don't think that, like I said, this is just me because I, I am, you know, if you've seen any of my videos on here, I have talked about how I do believe in God. I am a Christian. I try to uphold Christian values. So I don't think that it is proper for either of them to be seeing people outside of their marriage, like while it, they are technically still married. But again, this is Hollywood. This is the 21st century. People don't believe in doing stuff the right way anymore. So what have you anyways she has been seeing him on the side and you know like i said seems like she's been you know happy to be around him and he's been happy to be around her and he was on somebody's daytime talk show i didn't i didn't care enough to, to remember which one it was but he didn't make a comment you know it was like a joke because well, it was not necessarily a joke he didn't make it comical because he is a comedian and so he did say something along the lines of you know saying well taking really really sending a message to kanye saying you know, there are plenty of people who have mental illnesses, for real. They have issues in that in that area, but they don't use that as an excuse and a justification to harass people and to do people wrong. And everybody clapped and I was like, okay, I will agree with him on that. He is right. He said a mouthful right there. And so, you know, it, it kind of, you know, I feel like it opens people's minds up to be more accountable and to be more aware of these kinds of things. Like, yes, you have issues. Like, I'm sorry about that. And you need to get help. But what we're not going to do is justify you acting a plum fool all over the Internet. And that's what a lot of people, especially people who support Kanye West, really need to be doing. Like, stop supporting him in his mess. You know, I feel like that's part of the reason why he he's the way he is. But, you know, again, fans will support people despite what they do whether it's right or wrong that's like the really toxic side of fandoms but you know and then they've got it bad you know but um i honestly believe that's part of the reason why he could be the way he is you know when anybody has a toxic fan base or any kind of toxic person or group to lean back on while doing what they do they don't have a reason to confront themselves or to fix it or to go to therapy to get help Everybody was like joking and talking about, oh, Kanye needs this. Kanye needs that. No, Kanye needs Jesus and therapy. And that's what I'm going to leave that off on that. Now, uh, lastly, the only person who I feel sorry for, because I don't feel sorry for any of these grown consenting adults to the, the stupid foolishness that they've been doing and the decisions that they have been consciously making. The only people I feel sorry for, again, I've said this multiple times, are those kids because they are caught in the middle of of all this stupid foolishness okay they have parents all over the internet like whenever they get older this stuff is still gonna be on the internet like it's gonna be like 10 20 years from now and their friends are gonna be like oh my gosh your parents were on the internet like two decades ago you know fighting and it was a d divorce and it was a messy breakup like this stuff is gonna still be on the internet and these kids like i said they're caught up in all the middle of this in the middle of all this mess like in private and public and that just, like, it really breaks my heart, like, when you think about it. Like, I don't think enough people are really thinking about the kids in these situations. It's really sad and quite pitiful. But, whatever. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you got something mean to say, leave it out of my comments. Because you will get blocked and reported. I'm just saying, there, I had to put that out there. Because some of these people on the internet are, they, oh god, they are on another level when it comes to the disrespect. But anyways, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments down below.